house every day we make a remix that no one asks for it, but we somehow got it. I personally don't hate remix or just not really into it. Remix is just that whenever I do things from a business perspective, I always just assume that a company is trying to capitalize on the success of their own products, whether it's a game or a movie. But that's how I view things from a business perspective. But when it comes to playing games, I'm just a big fan of a game and I want to enjoy the game for what it is. So when it comes to giving a big reviews to House of the Dead, there is just fine. It's pretty fine. Although I, it's not worth its price. Cause the game took me like 30 minutes to play and I finished it all within uh, around 30 minutes or 40 if, if ever takes. And I played it twice. And also I learned that the game has two, you know, it has multiple endings. So this kind of multiple ending is based on your scores. If you have high scores, then the ending is good. If you have low scores, then the ending is terrible. I kind of noticed why mine was terrible because my scores were low. And then again, I came to blame myself for that because I was playing the game for the sake of just knowing the ending of it, which was kind of fun for me because I still have a terrible history of not finishing most of my childhood games. That include House of the Dead, Project AGI, and I think there are many other more that I try to explore them there. But I was happy that I finished the game and I also happy to learn that the game has multiple endings. I also tried the other mod that was introduced, harder mod, and then I couldn't play it. And if anyone else was wondering why I didn't like it, and I don't advise you to play it because it's the same as a classic one, but it's just that they throw you a lot of zombies, and it's kind of be an, it should be annoying when if you're playing it. But if you want to play, go for it. Go for it. Just it has no problem. Go for it. The game isn't that bad at all. It's just that go for it if you want more challenges. Or you want to play with a friend, but if you think that's something different from that new mod, no, it's just the same. As always, the game has better graphics. That's like, I mean, that's the whole purpose of the remake. And most other remakes, they've never existed outside there. They always come with Ultimate Edition, Remastered, DLC. It's just something that I really don't like. When I just really don't understand it, but it again, some of them, some of the devs do have a good intention and some of them don't have good intention. So. It's just my, my, my reviews on this remake is just mixed up. I, I can't hate it and I really can't like it that deep. So I just found it okay. That is one scene where the game was taking forever to load and I was a bit pissed off, but then again, I was get carried away. I was reading some of the words down there and I found some of this word. I was kind of happy that the devs do have a sense of humor. So yeah, that did make me happy a bit. But when it comes to the bad things, I, I have nothing bad to say about the game. Rather than being reminded to reload, that thing was really annoying whenever whenever I was playing the game. All the time, if you have watched the, my previous gameplay, I was really annoyed by being reminded to reload all the time. But when it comes to the bad things about it, nothing much. None of the players are complaining. Rather than game crashing and lag and support, which most of them didn't bother me that much, but I just found them okay. They did make some extra improvement to uh, whenever you die, you convert your high score into life. So just in case you're facing the final boss and then you just spend your entire life you still have a chance to fight it. If you, any one of you guys want to give it a try, I don't advise, I don't recommend you to give it a try because it doesn't seem to be worth its price right now. Unless you wait for discounts from it, which is which will be great. So if you're waiting for those one, you should wait for it, then you can buy it. But as the current price, nope, I don't think it's great for you to buy it. Another thing I think this has to be the last one, it's kind of, they made this chainsaw zombie really scary in, in this game. Like when I was playing the game, I was really terrified of the chainsaw zombie. I remember playing the original House of the Dead 1 and 2 and the chainsaw zombie has never been that scary. Whenever I just see the hand, I'll kill it. But this time, whenever I was hearing the chainsaw, I was like a bit terrified. Where is it going to pop up? Like I have to stay alert. It might pop up anywhere and finish me up. And it was like a fun experience for me, but I enjoyed that moment of it. Overall, the game is just fine. Gonna go for it, play it. If you think you are, you can't afford that price, that's okay. Just wait for it to, the price for it to go down, then you can buy it. And that's it. That's kind of it. That's my review for now. And I'm done. For anyone who wants to stick around for a while, then that's okay. It's okay to stick around for a while. Okay. Because this one is, this has nothing to relate to also the dead. Anyway, but now on, guys, I want to say I am sorry. Like, I'm really sorry for not uploading this video on time. I had issues, like, right now, as time I'm recording this, this one is kind of off script. Whenever I try writing the script of a video, I might write the script right on time, and when it comes to recording it, I just feel off. Like, it makes me feel like I'm not myself whenever I record that, whenever I, record that, whenever I try to record and read the script. 
it feels off so i'm going to be trying to experiment of just going off spoke script like i'm not going to be heavy 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 lying on script i just write my few points and talk about how i, how I view things from my perspective because if i try to relate to school that's how i was in school i just get a few points and go into rep representation and just read them out i read them what comes in my mind and how i think it and how i can relate to it so that's how this video was made if you think this video is made is great the reviews are just fine that's okay give it just comment down below and tell me that, that it was great and you want to see more of it. If you want to see me reading scripts, uh, I mean, that's okay. I can do that too. But to me personally, it doesn't seem like I'm myself. I feel like I'm just like a robot. The way I'm reading the script, I feel like I'm reading like a robot without being myself. Even though I'm the one who write them, I just don't get it. Like, still don't understand it. So I will try to make more of more videos, more videos will be coming, more gameplays of just being myself, trying to be myself and write videos by my own self like not by my own self what why are you getting confused like i mean no what i'm trying to say that the more videos will be coming is just i'll be going off script i won't be relying heavily heavily on script i just write some few points and just speaks whatever comes in my mind and if you do like more of those then let me know and if this video was terrible and the reviews weren't the way you're expecting all it was really confusing let me know that as well i'll try to be more of a straightforward i think or try to make it better than than the other one and also i'll be trying to stream on this video on by this channel i haven't shifted to twitch because i i don't know i'm having issues with twitch so i'll be streaming some of my videos in here so feel free to say hi but yet again i can't guarantee that the stream will be that entertaining most of the time because sometimes my internet decides to troll and it doesn't go so well and i hate whenever that happens so if by all means that the stream doesn't go so well i'll just play it as normal and upload it on youtube and i also try to explore other games apart from triple a games i also want to explore indie, indie games i also want to talk about different games and how i view things from my perspective so that's it more and more videos to come from now on i think i'll try to be myself again so that's it and i'll see you in the next video bye